one. Welcome to this episode of The More You Know, a series of short videos produced by the Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resource Service Area 13 Partners. Service Area consists of Berks, Lancaster, and Lebanon counties for Area 13, and it's one of 15 service areas across the Commonwealth that exist to provide long-term living information and resources for persons aged 60 and over, persons with a disability, veterans, family members, and their caregivers. My name is Margie Degler Pizarro. I'm your host for this series. I am a geriatric and palliative care nurse practitioner who is a passionate advocate for abundant living and aging. The Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Disability Resources is part of a nationwide initiative developed to take a seamless approach in the way that we assist seniors and adults with disabilities who need help with activities of daily living. When you need long-term living information or assistance, call the PA Link to Aging and Disability Resource Center toll-free hotline at one 800 753 Eight two seven. The title of today's episode is Conversation with PA Link to Aging Disability Resource Program Director Pat Lally. So my guest today is Mr. Pat Lally, the Program Director for Pennsylvania Link to Aging and Resources. Pat, thank you so much for being here today. So we are all excited for you to tell us everything that you can about how the link can help people that need these resources. Great, thank you. I appreciate the invitation and I'm looking forward to providing as much information as I can. I know that Service Area 13 is doing a great job <clears throat> uh, promoting the Pennsylvania link in Lebanon, Lancaster and Berks counties. And I'm just hoping I could fill in some of the gaps for you today. Okay, so if I were to ask you some of the pertinent things that viewers who might be coming on to the YouTube channel to learn about the PA link, or those people to whom our partners might be sending this video, tell us some of the key things that the link does for these people. Sure, um, thanks. Um, you, you explained a lot up, uh, in your introductory. Um, <clears throat> I'm sorry, the, uh, but however, the, the goal of the Pennsylvania link uh, statewide is to assist older, older adults over 60 and individuals with disabilities and we provide information and we help them connect to the supports and services they need, whether it be non-medical services and supports or medical to live safely in their homes and communities. The goal is to uh, have individuals not enter institutions such as nursing facilities and intermediate care facilities. And right now with everything we've been going through this past year with the COVID pandemic, I know families are really concerned about trying to keep their loved ones home or if it's for them themselves staying in their own mm -hmm. home. What might have to happen for them to be able to resource these different services? How would they access these services? What would well, number be their one, starting point? Sure, number one, you mentioned it, uh, uh, early on, they can they can dial the uh, the one eight hundred number one eight hundred seven five three eight eight two seven, and we have a group of call center representatives that are fully knowledgeable of all the services and partners that we have throughout the Commonwealth uh, to assist them in uh, gaining more information and and finding out how their needs can be met. Okay, and are there any particular requirements to begin to try to access these services? Again, uh, because we are an aging and disability resources center, we do focus on, on the aging population as well as the disability population to assist them in, in living and thriving in their communities. There is no uh, financial um, limitations. The services are free. And uh, we, we do our best to, uh, through our partners and our local uh, lead coordinators, such as uh, Service Area 13, uh, we do our best to find the best solutions uh, and work with the, the individual so they can uh, 
uh, choose the best solutions for, for themselves so they can live and thrive in their community. Excellent. Now with COVID uh, being a situation over the past year, has that caused any barriers that you know of, of people being able to access services? Um, there, no barriers, but I think uh, from, from a, a personal point of view, COVID took over as, as you know, all of our lives. And it, it, and at this point, um, through the course of, of this pandemic, people are worried about number one, not uh, contracting COVID and now how they can obtain the vaccination and then go back to somewhat of a normal life. Um, but we, we've been assisting individuals uh, with non-COVID needs as well throughout, throughout this uh, pandemic. Okay, so are most of the service providers at this point going into the homes to make appointments or is a lot of things being done yet on the phone? A lot of things are being done on the phone. As you know, guidance changes daily. Um, there are certain requirements that are, were lifted. People are now starting to somewhat go back to a sense of normalcy. However, a lot of folks, and we leave it up to the individual, if they do not want anyone in, in the home, uh, we will do as much virtually as we can to assist them with uh, obtaining those, those services. Okay, and do you work at all with those individuals who are at nurse in nursing facilities and trying to get back into the community, into a community home? We, we do um, interact with individuals that are in facilities that are planning to transition out of that facility and back into the community. Um, there are other services and, and other agencies that assist people who are permanently living through in a facility. Yes. So our, our, our goal is to um, have those individuals leave that, leave that facility and again, go back into their home and their communities to, uh, to continue on, uh, you know, through their daily living. Absolutely. Any other words you want to share with us today while we are so fortunate to have you with us? Well, it, it's... We do service individuals. However, our network is really made up of those individuals and those partner agencies that are on the ground. And our, our outreach efforts mainly go through them. Uh, currently, we have about 3,000 partners throughout the Commonwealth. And of those 3,000, about 300 or so are actually intimately involved in the, in the local uh, PA link uh, ADRCs, in other words, uh, our service areas, which service area 13 is a part of. Mm -hmm. And most people don't realize that we have this abundance of services and agencies that are able to help them in their home. And actually, as you know, that's why we started this channel for this kind of awareness. And it's absolutely amazing to hear that there are that many individuals helping people with disabilities mm -hmm. or aging to be able to stay in place in their home. And normally, traditionally, when folks have a need, um, they frantically, you know, it's usually a life changing event, and they're frantically trying to find phone numbers, agency names that can help them. Through the PA link, this is sort of like a one stop shop where they can um, contact uh, really any one of our partner groups. And even though they're looking for a specific need from that partner, say, uh, in-home services, uh, they also can um, access through that same partner more information, of if, say, if they need financial assistance or, or help with, um, with uh, maintaining their home as, you know, as part of their, their daily living. So the network is critical <clears throat> to the uh, to the development and further development of the PA link, not only Commonwealth wide, but also within those uh, 15 different service areas that you mentioned. Okay, and in case people might be wondering, the 800 number, the toll free number that I'll be sharing again before we leave this program, is are there time limits on that? Does it open at a certain time of day or close or, or what time they, can people reach? They, they will take phone calls from eight to five on a daily basis. However, if it's after hours, you can leave a voicemail and the requirement is that they will return that phone call the next business day. Excellent, 
Excellent. Very good. Well, Pat, I just want to thank you so much for your excellent presentation and sharing with us today about the Pennsylvania Link of Aging Disability Resources, particularly service area 13, although we know that you're over the whole network. And as always, the purpose for today's interview is to bring renewed awareness of this nationwide, statewide, and local program and to discuss it in detail so that our service providers and those they serve have a reliable, up-to-date, repository of information that can be shared. Again, my name is Margie degler Pizarro, and I thank you for joining Pat and I today. Be well, and remember, when you need long-term information or assistance, call the PA link to Aging and Disability Resource Center toll-free hotline at 1-800-753-8827. Take care now.